Hello, everyone. All right, so we're going to talk about FTX SBF coming back from the Bahamas uh, to the U.S. for apparently prosecution. So what's the reason he's leaving Bahamas? Main reason is because he was being held in one of the more notorious jails in Bahamas, which is called the uh, Fox Hill Jail. And that jail is actually known for really bad conditions. So I guess his thinking is that he will come back to the U.S. Uh, if he's prosecuted to be in jail in the U.S. Sorry about the birds. Don't mind them. Um, so he's going to want to be prosecuted in the U.S. instead of in the Bahamas, just in case if they're successful and he does go to jail, he'd rather be in jail in the U.S. Uh, than in the Bahamas. Now, this week, there's a new twist to the whole FTX saga, and that is that uh, two of his closest uh, associates, which is uh, the co-founder, Gary Wang, and the uh, ex-girlfriend, Caroline Ellison, they're both uh, cooperating with the authorities uh, and admitted guilt to conspiracy and fraud, I believe, uh, in their role in the collapse of the FTX. So this is a new twist, and this is not good for SBF because now the prosecutors will be able to get more inside secrets on what happened. And uh, if uh, SBF is uh, done anything really bad in his role as the uh, as the uh, the founder of this company, so we'll see. Let's see what happens. Now, who is Gary Wang? Now, Gary Wang have known SBF since high school, and they both uh, met in math camp, I believe. And Mr. Wang is a prolific coder. He's worked at uh, Google, uh, and also he graduated from MIT. So he's a very smart person, and he is the chief technology officer of FTX. After Mr. Wang graduated from MIT, uh, he did work at Google as an engineer. Uh, where he built systems to, uh, I believe, aggregate prices across uh, airplane flights. So he would be the one that uh, uh, probably uh, sourcing the code for uh, how much you will pay for airplane prices when you search on Google. Now, Mr. Wang is also a very reclusive figure. Uh, he didn't want to appear in any press. Uh, he's not even in, in, I believe, on the website of FTX, uh, except with his back turned around. So he is someone who uh, doesn't want to be in the, in, in, the, uh, in the eye of the company, unlike uh, SBF, which love to be out on the cameras. Okay, so another crazy thing that came out, the SEC uh, complaint on Gary Wang, is that he was one of the main persons who created a software code um, that gave Alam Meda, which is the hedge fund connected to FTX, um, special access to the user's funds. So in other words, they created a backdoor where Alam Meda can access the funds to trade using customers' uh, money. Now, that's a no-no. So whether this is true or not, they pleaded guilty to apparently... Uh, have some kind of evidence that there was some code written in the software that allows them to do that. Now, who is Carol Ellison? From what we know so far, she is a math whiz, attended MIT, grew up in outside of Boston, I believe, in the suburbs. The dad is uh, a department head of economics at MIT. Her mom is also a lecturer in economics at MIT. And believe it or not, the dad used to work for Gary Gensler or reported directly to Gary Gensler, which is the current chair of the SEC. So that's some crazy facts for you. Uh, she also attended uh, Stanford University, uh, where she studied mathematics. And uh, just like Beckman Fry, she also explored the concept of effective altruism which is basically making a lot of money to benefit the good of society. So making a lot of money and then giving back that money to society to, to, uh, to make it worthwhile, which is 
a great idea. She also met SBF at a trading firm called Jane Street. Uh, and that's where they bonded. I mean, in 2018, SBF asked uh, Ellison uh, to join him in setting up this company called Alameda Research. And this firm basically moved to Hong Kong uh, and they lived together, worked together, and essentially became sort of like a cult like type of culture. Um, so there, they actually have four partners uh, SBF. Carol Ellison, Gary Wang, and another person named Sha Singh, and also another colleague named Sam Trabuco. And uh, in 2019, when uh, SBF set up the exchange FTX, um, he basically allowed uh, Caroline Ellison and Sam Trabuco to become co-CEOs of Alameda Research while he focused on FTX. And after Sam Trabuco left uh, the company, uh, Carol Ellison was basically the CEO of Alameda Research. And it's been rumored that she is also in a relationship with SBF. So um, they moved to the Bahamas, you know, after he set up FTX and uh, the whole crew there basically um, was living in the Bahamas, operating out of Bahamas, buying properties in Bahamas. And, uh, and now with the fall of FTX, um, Carol Ellison has a plea deal with the uh, Southern District of New York. Um, and she is facing up to 110 years in jail, supposedly. So why wouldn't you plead a deal? I mean, I don't blame her. Um, hopefully, you know, there's uh, some resolution to that. Now, just remember, this whole company is loaded with smart people. I mean, these are people beyond brightness. I mean, it's people that, you know, I would look up to um, and effectively trust them to run the company. Um, I don't know what happened, what went sideways, or they just lost their values, or they just thought no one will ever find out what they're doing. Uh, it's just incredibly shocking that such smart people would let things go so crazy. Uh, and, and the company basically imploded in four days. You know, it does, they're talking about like a billion dollar company imploding in four days, which is crazy. I, mean, I can't implode my company. And I had a company that was only like half a million dollars in sales. Okay, I wouldn't be able to implode in four days. Okay, so far, um, the SEC has made these charges against uh, Ellison and Wang. Um, that basically says that one, they, Ellison, which uh, was the CEO of Alameda Research, she propped up the uh, price of FTT, which is the coin based uh, crypto issued by FTX. Um, and the way Ellison uh, propped up FTT was by purchasing large quantities on the open market so that uh, she can prop up the price of it. Uh, another complaint, number two, is that both Ellison and Wang knew about special privileges given to Alameda Research by FTX. Uh, even though SBF was touting in public that Alameda has no special privileges and is just like a regular customer, uh, they knew that they had um, collateral, special privileges with the collateral uh, with FTX. And number three, uh, another SEC complaint is that Wang created FTX software code that allowed Alameda to divert FTX customer funds through a back door. And Ellison used it, these funds for trading in Alameda. Uh, and even says that basically that Alameda and FTX could not make customers whole. I mean, so the bottom line is that they basically used the customer funds. Uh, without telling the customers what it's used for, uh, to prop up another firm that they have, which is Alameda Research. And through that firm, they also purchase uh, properties using customer funds. Uh, it's just really sad to see such bright young people that had so much potential in creating of value, creating value uh, in their lifetime, get prosecuted. And once you're in jail, you're pretty much useless. So even you're smart as hell, uh, you know, 
you're not going to be able to contribute to society, which I think these guys would have contributed greatly to society. So please do like and subscribe to this channel. Any comments, please enter below. And、um, I'll see you in the next one. Thank、you